Hey gang, how are we all doing there? Um, my name is Tony. Today, we're going to do a video on the Elro by JG3PO. <laughs> this is the um, D60E. Uh, there's two versions of the standard Delro, um, the D60E and the D60D. The D is for it's the D60E, the E stands for Evolve, which is a DNA 60 chip. Um, can't show you the time, the screen, the startup screen, it just says JG. And then Delro, pretty uh, pretty standard, but it's cool that it's customized in that way. Um, I like when modders take the time to do that. So uh, this version I bought secondhand for um, six hundred. This is the white Delrin version. They call it the Blanco, not to be confused with the Blanca, which is one of the first. Uh, white Cerakote billet box models that they did in 2020. Um, so this is uh, made in the US. Um, it's an internal battery chip. So I know I you know, already said it's a die codes, but it's a LiPo, it's internal battery, similar to that of the, the Noct. Um, the knocked lipo. You can see it's got a little bit more height on it. I think they're about the same width. It's actually maybe a little wider too. They're pretty close. Um, and then I would say it's a little wider this way too than the knocked. You know, um, <clears throat> it has quick charge built into it. So it takes from like 50% battery, probably takes like 20 minutes to charge. Whereas this quick charge, I feel is a little faster, like more like 10 to 15 minutes. Um, what's actually different about it, I, I don't know for sure. Um, this is, I would consider one of the earliest... Um, Bora mods that came out. Um, it's definitely been around for a little bit, and there's a number of uh, iterations of it. This is the box that comes in. A big old box. Plain U line box, actually. Um, came with a USB. Here's the original panels that it comes with. White, you know, for Blanca. And um, comes with a USB cable as well. You can get these for it, which I prefer. Um, this actually pulls out, and this, you know, th there's, and the earlier ones are USB um, micro or whatever. Um, but the new, the slightly newer ones, this one's like a year old. I bought it use but it was still pretty new um this has the type c charge port and this is just like a little magnetic attachment you can get through amazon and basically when i charge it i um i don't have to you know seeing that you always have to charge it um sorry you can just use this you know, so that makes it a lot easier. Um, I also have one on the Nox as well. So, what else can I say about this thing? Um, now on here, there's plenty of aftermarket stuff for it. Like these white screws, they were aftermarket. Sturdy shield on the base. The panels, these are the um, control panels. Um, I think these ones are called the dimensions. And on the back, 
normally it's just a round button, but control, like they often do, they made it so that it's like a fire bar. And the bar is built right into the panel, so it's not a separate piece. I actually had to contact Sway to get a different um, wattage button because the uh, the wattage buttons that it initially came with were supposed to be for both the die codes version and the DNA version. Um, however, the um, the die codes chip, the way it's set, um, I think it was set up higher. Anyhow, the, the wattage bar wasn't flush or whatever, so I actually had to contact him to get a uh, replacement that would be more meant for the DNA version, which all I had to do was pay shipping, and he sent it right to me. So this is the Dalren version. There's the Black Dalren, which, you know, was the first. Um, <clears throat> these were the most sought at one time, the Blanco. Uh, here it is next to the Harbor. So it's a very sturdy mod. Um, you know, it's Delrin, which is plastic, which is some people consider cheap. But I think if it's, as long as it's quality Delrin, I mean, this feels really strong. feels really sturdy compared to some. Like the panels on like a Harbor, for, existent, or for example, um, they just feel thinner. This mod just feels a little more fragile and like flimsy in a way. I mean, the Delrin on the binding on the binding is um is definitely like smoother and feels better than this. This is a little more I mean it's so it's smooth, but it's like a hard Delrin. Whereas this has more like texture, if that makes any sense. Um but yeah it's very strong feeling. So <clears throat> um the stock panel will cover your screen Although this has tracks built into it, and it's magnetic, so it's really easy to like, you know, check if you had to. Um, they make clear ones. A lot of people will have clear panels for it. Um, there's also like control panels that the whole thing is just one big button, which I like a lot. But um, they're harder to find. They also have control ones with the round button, so. <clears throat> um, the standard cutout is different too. So this is just one big cutout for airflow. This has two. Let's just divide it up a little more. <clears throat> you can see the round button cutout on that. Now, like I said, I paid six for it. Um, now you can find these for like... I've seen them as low as three, but I'd say f between four and five hundred is the most common price you'll see for these. Still on that buy sell trade, um, I think new they would still be like five hundred or five fifty something like that. Um, <clears throat> now there are clone versions of this mod, not this particular color or material, the Delrin, but um. There's clone like aluminum and ultum, well, generic PEI uh, material. And yeah. Now, there is also an authentic ultum Delro called the Ultro, which, even though it was created prior, it wasn't released until after the. Um, SXK version, this Ultim uh, was released. And that was priced at like 180 the Ultim Delro. Um, so there's very few Ultros out there. I think once JG found out that they cloned the Ultim version, he may, may have lost interest. There's a new iteration of the Delro out now too. Um, <clears throat> well, they did a, a, a revised version of it. Um that changed up uh, mostly the, the button panel looked different, um, but it's still like, you know, a lipo and all. They also have a, an 18650 version of the Delro out now that looks more like, dare I say, it looks more like a billet box. 
um, you know, that may or may not appeal to some people. Um, I'm not that crazy about Lipo mods, but I do like this one. I like, you know, the two that I have anyway. Um, <clears throat> when you get it, it will not have a flush nut. It would be um, 10 or base connection, I'll say. But I'd say the Delro is one that rarely ever has any um, issue with connections. It's always really good with connections and fitting various styles of Boros. Um, whereas a lot of Cerakoted um, Boro mods, you may have trouble with uh, fitting in um, all-in-one other style RBAs. <clears throat> Uh, there's no airflow cutout on the side. All the airflow is from the front, not on the back either. So that's something to keep in mind when using this device. Um, what else could I say? It's hard, probably going to be hard to see, but it actually says, I can't even get an angle to show it. You can't see nothing. It says D60E up there, and Delra on the side. You can actually see the Delra wrap inside. <clears throat> this is where the lipo is. And um, I actually have another um, lipo battery around. Here it is. Here's one I haven't used. Um, now, I don't know how long these last. Like, if I've had this for over a year and not used it, I mean, is it going bad that the lipo is not being charged or used or anything? I know a lot of <clears throat> battery cells, um, they go bad if they're not being used, so... Oh, and... Here's another thing to mention, um, the uh, 1800 Ma milliamps. So you don't get the best battery life out of these. Um, <clears throat> though they're not meant to be run, like, you know, with a lot of power going through them. It's good for MTL or some RDL style vaping. <clears throat> Low wattage, um, under 30 watts um, would be... Uh, advised <clears throat> sorry my <clears throat> sorry my voice sounds like sandpaper here um so oh yeah um so 1800 milliamps now the the ultim uh, clone delro that battery is actually 200 or uh 2200 milliamp which is significantly better. Um, however, with the clone version, <clears throat> not only are you getting a clone, um, it's not warranted by DNA if something happens to it. Um, the DNA chips sold to SXK are um, under a specific serial number code that even if you took the chip out of the device and gave it to DNA to fix, they'll know that you had a clone DNA product. Now, why wouldn't they want to fix it considering they're the ones that sold it to the clone company? So how is that? How is there any merit in that if you're the ones that ate it them anyway? Already, your, your integrity was already bought because you sold out to the clone company. So I don't know why, why you wouldn't help to fix the consumer um their product that bought the clone you know you'd rather punish them than the company that's trying to get authentic chips for clone products especially when those companies cloned your chip anyway i don't know that's a whole other thing but um yeah so if something happens to your clone one <clears throat> odds are it's going to be hard to fix um i've had the the ultim clone and the, um, they also have an aluminum clone version um, that 
you can get with the 70 chip, the, um, the uh, a clone chip, an SXK chip. Um, they actually glued the battery onto the body of the, the LiPo, of the mod frame. So if you had to change out the, even the LiPo pack, if you had to change out the battery on the clone version, I imagine that would be pretty hard. Um, I know you can get to this one if you had to replace it. I've never done it. I'm sure it would still be a bitch, as I'm not very good with technical stuff like that. But um, at least it's possible. And if you needed SSK to work on this, they would do it because it's an authentic mod. Um, so that's a drawback of the clone. And even though it has a higher milliamp, so you technically would get more battery life, it doesn't have quick charge, which is a huge loss because the quick charge is what makes it okay that the battery's small because you know it'll charge fast enough. Whereas on the clone, you're going to have to wait significantly longer for your mod to charge. So that's a big bummer with the clone. But then again, you have your price. So if I were to buy even a used um, ult Ultim SXK Dollar now because they didn't stay in stock very long. They had a long pre-order, but they didn't stay in stock long. They were done around May of last year, so 2021, um, April and May, maybe June. So, um, what was I saying? Jeez, but the quick charge was that? Is that still talking about that? Oh, so pricing too. I mean, so yeah, say you were to get one of those. Now at the time they were 180 bucks and the clone was like, or I mean, and the non SXK, or I'm so sorry, I'm just getting mixed up. The non Ultum, so the aluminum version of the uh, DNA version was like a hundred bucks and the non DNA version was like 80 bucks. So the, the Ultum SXK Delro was like, I'll round it to 200 bucks. Say you bought one used nail, that's like 150 to 200 bucks. You could spend another, you know, like I said, say it was 200, you could spend another 100 to 200 dollars and actually get the authentic. Now, you wouldn't be able to get an authentic um, Ultima one for that price because they're rare, but you the dollar ones are, are very nice. There's also clear. Um, Delrose authentic ones that are one of the rarest mods ever. They're all clear acrylic. Um, they call it a Cubro for whatever reason. I don't know. And then I almost forgot to mention that there's resin ones. There's solid color resin ones. Red, yellow, green, lime green, <clears throat> orange, that kind of thing. Um, I've seen them sell as low as 400 bucks for a real nice blue one. So the buy sell trade market is at a point where it's really good to buy because there's a lot of good deals out there. Um, there's also really swirling psychedelic resin ones that have patterns more like that. Um, they're a little more expensive. That would probably cost you like six to eight hundred bucks to get one right now, maybe even more, depending on how nice it is. Um, those are really sweet. And I imagine the resin ones feel like the, um, the Ultim ones. It was a really awesome material on that Ultim one, even though it was a clone <clears throat> and it wasn't brand name Ultim, it still felt really good. And I wish I still had it to show you the comparison between them. Um, but I sold it recently, actually. Um, sorry about that. That also had a USB type C. Um, so yeah, I mean, the, so the resin ones, they call it the Rezo. Um, those are really sweet and highly coveted mods. Um, most of them are done. The resin or the resin blocks um, for them. You may use somebody different now, but the, initially the Rezos, the blocks came from uh, uh, Dan Chase resin. And Chase does the, the resin blocks for them. Um, and, uh, yeah, I mean, they're really nice. They're very sought after.
here it is next to a, a bill of box. So, yeah, I mean, especially for its time, this was considered, like, the smallest Aurora mod for quite a bit. Um, it's pretty sweet. I have the um, Haku Zeta um, Titanium Blue in there. An oldie but goodie, one of my favorite RBAs still to this day. That I'm running some twist uh, sugar cookie in. So yeah, I mean, rezos, they're, they're hard to buy too. Usually people want to trade for them. They want to trade a KBR for it or something by Box My Mafia. So they're not the easiest to come by. Um, and the Q-Burrow is even harder to come by. Um, you know, Q-Burrow would be like this. Like picture these panels being clear. This clear acrylic, you know, but as a Delra. Um, and there's also like a Wicked collab that came out <clears throat> in a black version and like this kind of clear with like engravings in it. That's also pretty rare. Um, so yeah, I think that's about everything. There's monarchy styled ones. Um, you know, they've done a lot with it now. Um, so yeah, like I said, JG, who is in partnership with, um, or maybe part owner with a Friendly Flipper company. Um, so you'll see a lot of Friendly fl Flipper uh, icon or iconography on it, I'll say. Emblems, logos. But yeah. Um, battery life, one thing that's good about it is the timeout screen. Watch. And if you can get to your, I, I don't think you can actually get into eScribe with these. I haven't tried it, but I heard that you can't actually personalize anything in eScribe. I think they turned it off because of the quick charge or something like that. Um. Yeah, the screen timeout is very fast, and that actually, believe it or not, saves battery life. So, yeah, I think I said everything. So, that is the Delro D60E. Now, I know the um, the Dico's version, the D60D. I know they were more expensive, actually. Um. But some people don't like die code, so it doesn't matter. But I know there's plenty of reviews that actually feature the die codes version, and not many that featured the DNA version. So I figured this would definitely be one to show off a bit, um, explain a little bit about. So I mean, it's definitely a, a reliable mod that has a, a very good reputation in the community. So, all right, gang, catch you next time.